Motorola Edge 20 Pro Review, budget flagship smartphone with a 144Hz display and 12GB of RAM. There's no denying that Motorola finds itself in a fiercely competitive market. With brands such as Xiaomi, Realme, and OnePlus throwing down increasingly impressive specs at affordable prices, we've all come to expect our phones to do more, and our wallets less. So when it comes to Motorola's latest 5G flagship, the Edge 20 Pro, the bar is high. Released alongside the budget Edge 20 Lite and mid-range Edge 20, the Edge 20 Pro sits at the top of the range with a price to match, at £649.99. It's not available in the US, where just the Edge, 2021, is on sale. While it may not be apparent thanks to Motorola's ever-confusing naming conventions, the Edge 20 Pro is a direct successor to last year's Motorola Edge. The phones are significantly different, however. Motorola called some features while busting specs in other places, resulting in a handset that headlines with a 144Hz OLED display, with HDR10+, a 108MP main camera, and a 4500mAh battery. The 6.7-in Edge 20 Pro is slim, at 7.6mm, and fairly comfortable to hold at 190G, but it is a large phone, at least for my hands. This made one-handed use a bit unwieldy at times, but that certainly wasn't a deterrent to enjoying the phone. I looked at the Midnight Sky variant, which offers a smooth 3D glass back in a matte, metallic blue finish. While it is eye-catching, you'll want to use a case to minimize fingerprints and to prevent slips as this phone really is very smooth. Thankfully, Motorola provides a clear case to get you started. The Edge 20 Pro also offers IP52 water resistance. So while it's not waterproof, it can withstand a brief splash. While the Edge 20 Pro shares the 6.7-in OLED display with the original Edge, Motorola switches it up a bit this year. For one, the endless Edge display of the original Edge is no more, which is a shame, as that really contributed to the premium look and feel of the device. Now you'll even find a narrow bezel around the display. Motorola compensates for this cutback by introducing a higher 144Hz refresh rate, however, up from the original Edge's 90Hz. So how does the Edge 20 Pro actually perform? Surprisingly well, now that's no slight to Motorola. My experience has been primarily with its budget G series, so performance on the Edge 20 was truly a breath of fresh air. In my experience, the Edge 20 Pro was quick and responsive and was able to take almost anything I threw at it. I primarily used the phone to take pictures, browse social media, message friends, navigate the city, and watch videos, it was all smooth sailing. The Edge 20 Pro excelled particularly in our gaming and graphics benchmarks, outdoing the OnePlus Nord 2 in practically all tests. The Edge 20 Pro hit a staggering 121 frames per second in the GFX Tier X graphics test, too, outdoing the OnePlus 9, from pound 629, slash US dollar 729, which features the more powerful Snapdragon 888. You can thank the Adreno 650 GPU for that, a graphics chip you'll also find on the Galaxy Z Flip 3, from pound 950, slash dollar 999. Unlike the original Edge, you won't find a 3.5mm headphone jack on the Edge 20 Pro, so you'll have to rely on its Bluetooth 5.1 connection for headphone listening instead. Otherwise, there's a USB-C 3.1 port, used for both charging and for connecting to the Ready for Adapter, which comes included, more on this later. With DisplayPort 1.4 support, the Ready for Connector should support outputs of up to 8K at 60Hz, the Edge 20 Pro is a dual SIM phone with NFC support, dual band Wi-Fi 6, and of course, 5G connectivity, which is a nice bit of future-proofing. Admittedly, you won't find 5G networks everywhere, so if you're not picky, don't overlook capable 4G handsets like the Poco X3 Pro, from £229. A 108MP main snapper sounds impressive on paper, but how does it actually perform? Unfortunately, my thoughts here echo what I've said about other Motorola phones I've reviewed. 
it's just, okay. Not bad, not great. First off, the 108 MP resolution doesn't actually kick in on its own. You'll have to dive into the settings to enable it. Bigger doesn't automatically mean better though. Like most phones that tempt shoppers with a high megapixel count, the Apt 20 Pro's pixel binning crunches the final resolution down to 12 MP. The Apt 20 Pro's turbocharge feature allows 30W fast charging. In my experience, I could juice up the 4,500 mAh battery by 36% from 0 in 15 minutes, while 30 minutes topped it up to 61%. That's not bad if you're in a rush and need a few extra percent right away, and it's certainly an upgrade from the original Edge's 18W fast charging. It's just not the fastest around. The Nord 2 offers a 4,500 mAh battery with 65W fast charging, while Crazy 120W fast charging on the premium mid-range Xiaomi 11T Pro, pound 599-649 euro, replenishes its large 5,000 mAh battery in about 20 minutes. Like other Motorola phones I've reviewed, the Edge 20 Pro offers a clean Android 11 experience with gestural navigation support and no bloatware. All the preloaded apps are from the Google Suite, so it's as close as you can come to a pure Android experience without buying a Google phone. Motorola adds its own UX flourishes, which I've come to love, like the three-finger screenshot shortcut or Karate Chop Motion Flashlight shortcut. You can now also access a shortcuts menu by double-tapping the power button. All of this is done tastefully, so you never feel like Motorola's imposing its UX onto you. The Motorola Edge 20 Pro costs £649 and is available to buy directly from Motorola or Lenovo, parent company, in blue vegan leather or midnight blue. You can find it from Amazon, Argos, and John Lewis, and Very. At the moment, we can only see options with 12GB RAM and 256GB storage. The handset isn't available in the US. Customers can find a very similar Motorola Edge 2021 for $699, reduced to $499 at time of writing.